good to see why not. So for those of you who don't know, if you haven't done my classes before online, um, I am a Pilates instructor. I'm teaching this class uh, really aiming at people for all different levels, not necessarily advanced, but very basic up through medium level or so. So if you haven't done any Pilates at all, don't worry, you can soon pick it up, but just stick to the basic level. The most important thing is remember you're doing the classes at your own risk. I can't see you, so I can't adjust you at all. Um, so if you do have any injuries or anything, just make sure that you listen to your bodies, rest anytime you need to, and don't do anything at all that causes you any pain or discomfort. So otherwise, we will get going. So as normal, I would do a standing warm up just so we can get our bodies nice and warm, just getting our spines moving in all different directions before we go down onto the mat. So we're going to set ourselves up in, in our standing neutral position. So just making sure that we're standing with the heels underneath the bony parts of your hips. So your legs are fairly narrow, legs are parallel, and your feet are facing forwards. So if you look down to look at your feet, just look up. So just tuck your chin in slightly, lengthen your neck, and then lift your toes. And that looking down, just lift your toes away from the floor, fan them out, spread them nice and wide, give your toes a good old stretch, and then just gently put them back down on the mat. Then from there, just find a little bit of softness in the knees and the thighs, and lengthen the spine. So just lifting the top of the head up towards the ceiling, maybe just feel like you're growing an inch or two, and your chest should slightly rise, the front of your shoulders open, and then just soften the ribs, the bottom of your rib cage, just try and soften it down towards your hips, without pulling the rib cage down, uh, without pulling the chest down. Let's just roll the shoulders, bring your shoulders forwards up by your ears and slide your shoulder blades back and down, feel them gliding down towards the base of the spine, reaching through your fingertips. So just keep your arms there, pulling the shoulders away from your ears. And now just find your neutral position for your pelvis. So you might just want to tuck your tailbone under, I'll just stand sideways. So just tuck your tailbone under, and then tip your tailbone up towards the seat without moving anything else that we've just set up. And then just slowly set it in a position in between that tip and the tilt of your pelvis. Now engage your core, so feel your lower abdominals drawing in. So just feel like you're trying to shorten that space there in between your two hip bones. So that's going to uh, engage your lower abdominal muscles and that helps protect your back. It helps with stability as well and it helps maintain the pelvis in that neutral position. So from there, keeping the length in your spine, let's take an in-breath and just flip both of the arms up towards the ceiling. And as you breathe out, release them down by your sides. Let's take the arms wide to the sides as you breathe in. And as you breathe out, just float them back down by the side of your legs. Breathing in, so breathing through your nose, float your arms up. As you breathe out this time, just circle your arms wide to the side and draw them down. Breathing in, let's circle wide to the side and overhead. And as you breathe out, let them float down by your sides. Let's go again, but lift the heels off the floor this time as you lift your arms up towards the ceiling, coming into your standing balance. And then lower the heels as you lower your arms. Let's take the arms wide to the sides as you lift your heels off the floor. Just feel like you're reaching through your fingertips. Try and maintain that balance. And lower your arms and lower your heels. Breathing in, let's lift the arms up towards the ceiling as you lift your heels again. But this time, keep your heels up if you can. Circle your arms wide to the side, then bring them down and then lower your heels. Let's go the other way with the arms. Breathing in, arms wide to the side, arms overhead. And then just keep your heels off the floor if you can. Then put them down if you need to very slowly. Bring your arms down by your sides and then lower your heels. Breathe in. As you breathe out, just let your chin fall towards your chest. Just start to roll down through your spine nice and slowly. Only going as far down as you feel comfortable to go. Just letting your arms hang like ragdoll arms. Pulling the navel in towards your spine, feet bend in the knees if you need to. Put your hands on your thighs if you want a little bit of support. Breathe in when you've got a size you feel comfortable to go, and then slowly just restack your spine, standing nice and tall at the top. And only when your shoulders arrive over your hips do you look forwards. So let's breathe in as you breathe out. Let's sit back in a squat, sit back and down, reaching your arms forward, keeping your spine and your neck long. Press into your, squeeze your 
glutes straight, your legs down nice and tall. Let's add that rise again. Lift the arms, lift the heels, keep the heels up. Serve the arms wide to the side and then lower your heels. Let's go into a squat, sit back and down, maybe a little bit deeper if you can. So all you do is bend the knees, hinge from the hips, stand nice and tall. Let's find our balance again. Lift the arms up, right up on the balls of your feet if you can. Keep the heels lifted, arms wide to the side, arms down, and then lower your heels. Let's squat again, sit back and down. So getting the leg muscles, your glutes warm, press into your heels, squeeze your glutes down nice and tall. And last time, let's find our balance, lift up maybe a little bit higher, keep your shoulders away from your ears, arms wide to the sides, arms down, and then you can lower your heels. Breathe in as you breathe out, slide your left hand down the side of your left leg as your right hand just slides up the side of your ribcage, taking a side bend, breathing in, lengthen the arms, lengthen the spine. Go the other way, so just try and uh, just go sideways, don't lean forwards or backwards, just imagining we're in between those two panes of glass, just pulling the ribs away from the hip. Try to keep your pelvis there quite level and still if you can. And let's take the left arm, slide the left arm down, and then stay here, and then reach your right arm all the way up and overhead if you can. Breathe in as you breathe out, bring the arm back up and down by your sides, and then straight. So just holding that stretch. Right hand slides down, left hand slides up. And then we take the left arm up and overhead. And then keep your right arm where it is. Bring that left arm all the way up and over and down by your sides. Then reset your shoulders. And we're going to go to the end of the mat. So we're going to start to work on our mat. So we're going to come up three times to the standing position again. So we're going to do some press-ups today. So really good to strengthen the arms and the upper body. So if you walk to the end of your mat, uh, make sure that you reset your uh, heels underneath your hip bones so your legs are parallel again. So breathe in, engage the core. As you breathe out, let's just let the chin fall towards the chest, round your shoulders, your upper back, your mid back, hands on your thighs, or if you can, just let your arms hang. And again, bend the knees a lot if you need to, otherwise keep the legs fairly straight. Coming down into your forward fold, now bend your knees, Walk out onto the mat, probably three hand paces forwards. Drop your knees onto the mat underneath your hips. Take your hands a little bit wider than your mat, so your hands are wider than your shoulders. Lengthen the spine, make sure your spine's in that length and neutral position, neck in line with your spine. As you breathe in, we're just going to bend the elbows wide to the sides and just lower your chest down towards the floor in between your hands. And as you breathe out, press your hands into the floor, straighten your arms and come back to that tabletop position. And going again, inhaling, bend the elbows. So these are press ups. So really feel that work in your upper body and in your arms, across your shoulders, your chest. Can we do two more? We'll just do four, but you don't need to do four. You might just want to do one or two and then take a rest. One more last one. Breathing in, maybe just lower your chest a little bit deeper towards the floor. Make sure it's your chest, not your head, going in between your hands. The shape of the spine stays the same. Arms are straight. Walk your hands in so your hands are in line with your shoulders. Now tuck your toes under. Walk your hands to your knees. Lift your knees off the floor, walk your hands to your feet as your heels come down onto that. So we're in our forward fold here now. Breathe in as you breathe out, scoop the navel in towards your spine and roll yourselves all the way up to your standing position. Now look forwards. Breathe in, lift your arms up towards the ceiling. As you breathe, a big circle of the arms wide to the side. Just open your chest, open your shoulders, let your arms release really down by your sides. Breathe in as you breathe out and going down again, nice and slow. So as we get a little bit warmer in the legs and in the lower back, you should maybe think you can keep your legs a little bit straighter. Back issues, 
bend your knees, coming into this sort of folded over position. Then we're going to walk out onto the mat again, maybe take your three hand paces forward, and then drop the knees directly underneath your hips. Wrists should be under your shoulders. Take your hands a little bit wider than your mat. Make sure your wrists are still in line with your shoulders. Keeping the spine and the neck long. Try not to change the shape of your spine. Breathe in, let's go into our press-ups again. Breathe in, bend the elbows, lower the chest down towards the floor, and then exhale, straight the arms coming back up. Um, we're going to do that three more times, or maybe just one more time. You can sit back anytime you want to. Two more to go, work with your breath. Inhaling, lowering down, exhale, just feel you're just pressing. They're press-ups, so we press up to come out of the, out of the press-up and push the floor away. So that is four. Walk your hands in till your hands are underneath your shoulders again. Tuck your toes under. Walk your hands to your knees. Lift your knees off the floor. Walk your hands to your toes. Heels come onto the floor. So we're back in that folded over position here. Just stay here, strong in the abdominals and pull your tummy in and just gently shake your head and nod your head. So try not to get any tension in your neck. Now breathe in. As you breathe out, stop to straighten your legs a little bit if you can. And let's slowly reset the spine coming all the way up to stand. You keep your chin tucked in until your shoulders right over your hips and then look forward. Breathe in, flip the arms up towards the ceiling. Breathe out, big circle of the arms wide to the side. Bring your arms down by your sides. Last time, let's come down again, nice and slowly. Really feel you're articulating your spine. So, one bone at a time is releasing. So, coming down, big bend in the knees if you need to. And then let's walk out onto the mat one more last time. Coming into our tabletop, drop your knees underneath your hips. Wrists should be underneath your shoulders here. And uh, let's walk the hands again a little bit wider than your shoulders, maybe just outside the edges of your mat there. Keep the length in your spine, keep your tummy pulled in. And breathing in, we're going to bend the elbows wide to the side, chest towards the floor in between your hands. Press into your hands. Straighten your arms. Three more if you can. So the body weight comes forward slightly, so we're not taking our chest, our, our head in between our hands, it's our chest. Two more to go, work with your breath. And one more last time. Maybe going a little bit lower and then push the floor away. Just sit on your heels for a moment or high knee if you don't like sitting on your heels. Roll your shoulders, a few big shoulder rolls there. Circle your wrists, few circles one way, few circles the other way. And then put the hands on the mat in front of your knees. Walk out towards the top end of the mat. Come onto your forearms. We're going to lie all the way down onto our fronts. Now walk your knees back and let your hips sink on towards the floor, on towards, onto the floor. And then your chest lying all the way down. Stack your hands and rest your forehead on the backs of your hands. Draw your shoulder blades back and down. Your elbows should be a little bit uh, lower towards your shoulders than your uh, hands. So you've got more or less a diamond shape in between your arms there. So keep the chin tucked in. So your nose is just uh, uh, pointing down towards the mat. The top of your head is pointing towards the wall in front of you. Stretch your legs along behind you. Legs should be hip width apart. Same as in our standing posture. Uh, imagine you've got a hot rock underneath your belly button, so pull a navel in towards your spine here, making sure the lower back stays open. So just to help that, just press your pelvic bone gently down into the floor. So just opening up those lower vertebrae there. So from there, making sure that we work with our breath and your tummy pulled in, Breathe in, as you breathe out, without pressing into your arms, just put your head and your chest away from the floor. Lengthening and extending your upper spine, so we're lifting as we lengthen, and slowly come back down, rest your forehead very lightly on the backs of your hands, exhaling, lengthen and lift, just your chest, keep your lower wrists on the floor. Your arms, imagine your arms just on a bed of cotton wool here, so you can't press into your arms, use your back muscles, so this is so good for our posture, strengthening the muscles that support your spine and keep your posture 
Uh, really good. So we don't want to be round shouldered. So this is working in extension. <clears throat> so just do one more like that. So I'm going to add in only if you feel you can. You can stay with this if you want to. If you can, we're going to exhale. We're going to lift the head and the chest away from the floor. Breathe in as you hold that extension. Keep it lifted as you breathe out. Just Lift the arms away from the floor, bring your hands towards your forehead and then lower your arms and your upper body all the way down. Let's go again, arms on the floor, lengthen, lift your chest, stay here as you breathe in. As you breathe out, just float your arms away from the floor, just bring the backs of your hands onto your forehead and then lower all the way down. Let's do that two more times, arms down. Head and chest lift, lengthen, stay here. Float your hands up to meet your forehead, keep your elbows wide, lower all the way down. Breathe in, one more last time, breathing out, arms down, head and chest lift, breathe in, hold, lift the arms up, and then lower all the way down. Relax your upper body, keep your tummy pulled in. We're going to work the legs now, so breathe in as you breathe out, lengthen and lift your right leg away from the floor. Try and get your knee right off the floor. Breathe in, lower back down, and then the left lengthen and lift, so engage your glute as you lift and lower the leg. So just trying to find as much length as you can. So just alternating these single leg extensions in your lying prone position. Stretch, try and get your toes on that wall behind you. So you can stay with singles if you feel that you can, no pinching in the lower back. Let lift both of your legs away from the floor, squeeze your glutes, lower them back down lightly. Let's do that three more times. We'll go back to your singles, lengthen and lift. Keep your upper body completely relaxed. Try not to tense your shoulders or your chest. Use your breath, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. One more last time, lift your legs and lower them down again, all the way down onto the floor. Put your hands underneath your shoulders, press up, push, come onto your hands and knees and just pull your sit bones back towards or all the way to your heels if you can. It doesn't matter if you can't close that gap. Just that lovely stretch. And then come up onto your hands and knees. So we're coming to seated now towards the front end of the mat. So just walk towards the <coughs> bottom end of the mat. Sweep your legs in front of you. So you've got the length of the mat behind you. So we're going to do some half rollbacks. So really good for strengthening our core. So I'm mobilizing your spine as well in flexion. So we did quite a bit of extension there lying on our front. So we're taking the spine the other way, rounding the spine now. But first of all, we need to sit really nice and tall. So knees bent, heels, knees, hip bones in that alignment again. So your legs that hip distance apart. Shoulders over your hips. Uh, chins more or less parallel to the floor, reach your arms forward so the shoulder height, shoulder distance. If you need support, you can just pop your hands behind your thighs and just hold on there, otherwise reach your arms forward. Breathe in, as you breathe out, find a C curve in your spine and tuck your tailbone under, just roll it off your pelvis, just going onto the lower back there, don't need to go back too far. Breathe in as you breathe out, pull the abdominals and use your abdominals, slowly coming back up when your shoulders are over your hips, rebuild your spine, sit nice and tall. Breathe in as you breathe out, so finding that C curve that initiates the movement, then we start to roll back a little bit further maybe, breathe in, maybe to spine, as you breathe out, pull the abs in, let's slowly come up and sit really nice and tall. You can stay with this if you want to, just rolling back and then coming back up again. So let's just do that again this last time. So sit tall at the top. If you can, we're going to stay down in our half roll back next time. So just tuck under, just rolling back to a position where you know you can maintain this. Don't get too far back. So from here, breathe in. As you breathe out, we're going to lift the arms up towards the ceiling 
As you breathe in, we're going to circle the arms wide to the side and reach the arms forward. And then we're going to use our exhale again to restack the spine. Breathe in. As you breathe out, tuck and roll, not too far. <clears throat> breathe in. As you breathe out, we're going to reach the arms up. As you breathe in, we're going to circle the arms wide to the side and forward so we can use our exhale again to restack. Let's do that again. Exhale and tuck and roll. Breathe in, breathe out. Arms and reach up towards the ceiling and then arms wide to the side. Pull them in towards each other. Exhaling slowly, coming back up. Breathe in, lift your arms up towards the ceiling. As you breathe out, keep your arms in line with your ears. Just forward fold. Now bring your chest towards your thighs. Breathe in. As you breathe out, sit nice and tall. Circle your arms wide to the side. Draw your arms in towards each other. And then we're going to extend the legs long as your next option. So we've gone up a level here. So keep your knees bent if you want to. If you feel you can, slide your legs along for length. So it's almost like a bookend here, like an L shape with our, with our spine and our legs. Reach the arms forward, breathe in as you breathe out. Just roll just again, just to the back of your hips. Don't let your heels lift off the floor. Breathe in as you breathe out, reach for your toes and then lengthen and lift. Arms arrive back in line with your shoulders. And coming back again, exhale, then into the spine. Breathe in as you breathe out, coming back up again and restack. So remember, bend your knees if you need to. Can we stay down the next time? Just that halfway down, don't be too far. Go just to a level where you can stay here or come back up if you need to. Breathe in, as you breathe out, just lift your left arm up towards the ceiling line of your ear and then reach it forwards. And then your uh, left arm, so alternating your arm scissors. So really feel that challenge in your abdominals. We're not gonna do too many, come out of this anytime you need to. And let's just do one more arm scissor each side. So really building up our core strength here. Last time, breathe in. As you breathe out, let's come back up. <coughs> Again, sorry, really nice and tall at the top. You're in that L shape. Arms up towards the ceiling, breathe in as you breathe out. Let's fold over again, coming forwards, chest and arms towards your legs. Let me stretch in the back of your legs. Breathe in as you breathe out, unfold, reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Breathe in, circle your arms wide to the side, reach your arms forward. So we're going to roll all the way down to stay down now. So if you need to put your hands on the floor or even go onto your side. But if you can, we're going to imprint the spine and slowly release all the way down. So exhaling, <clears throat> rolling slowly down, control the movement, don't collapse. Then take the arms towards the floor behind you, no lower than in line with your ears. And then big circle of the arms again, wide to the side and bring your arms in. And then let your hands, arms rest on the mat down by your sides. So from here, we're gonna slide the feet in one at a time. So our knees are bent. So <clears throat> making sure your heels and your knees and your hip bones are in that same alignment. So always think neutral posture is normally with our legs hip distance apart, whether we're seated or whether we're standing and now we're lying down. So think hip distance. So from here, just take your arms maybe a little bit wider than you're up with your palms facing down. Make sure that your lower back is lengthened on the floor. If you're not sure, so we're finding that neutral position for the pelvis again. If you're not sure, just flatten your lower back into the mat so your tailbone is coming under slightly. Then peel the lower back off the mat so you're arching the back now. And then just set it in that position in between. So your lower back's lengthened on the floor. Engage your core, so then just draw the lower abdominals in or lift up your pelvic floor, either or, whatever feels more natural for you to do that you can maintain. So from here, without moving anything else, take an in-breath, as you breathe that, just let your left knee drop sideways towards the floor, not too far coming onto the outside of your left foot. 
and breathing in, bring the knee back up to face the ceiling. Exhale your right knee. So all we're doing is taking the knee sideways towards the floor without moving your pelvis. So if you take the knee too far towards the floor, you're gonna lift the left uh, opposite hip off the floor. So go nice and slow. So just alternating these knee folds. So just opening up into your hip, controlling the movement with your core. So breathing out as your knee falls away and breathing in as you pull it back in. Let's do one more of those each side. So really nice for our hips here. So just getting that movement around your hip socket, making sure that when the one knee is going to the side, the other knee stays completely still. So you can stay with that, or let's just make these double. So on your next exhale, take both of these away from each other, open your knees wide, like a butterfly's wings, and then draw the knees back in, so your knees face the ceiling, feet flat on the floor. And just go again, exhaling open, Inhaling, close, making sure that the back is still exactly where it was when we started. Two more. So just a nice, gentle, simple movement here. So we're going to slowly build up through lots of different levels today, working around our hips and then pull the knees back in. So back to that same starting point. Breathe in as you breathe out this time, lift your left foot off the floor, bring your left knee directly over your hip. Keep the shape of the leg the same. Breathing in, put your foot back down on the floor. Breathing out, lift your right foot off the floor, bring your right knee directly over your hip. Again, no movement in your lower back, your pelvis, your hips. So just doing these knee floats. Really light with the feet on the floor. Keeping really balanced both sides of the body. So you can stay with this. Exhaling to lift, just feel this, the work you need to use in your core to keep everything else nice and still. So your next option is breathe in as you breathe out, lift your left foot and then your right foot off the floor. Bring both of your knees over your hips, directly over your hips, heels in line with you. So you're in your tabletop position here with your legs. Breathe in as you breathe out, lower your left toes down towards the floor and breathe in, knee back over your hip. Exhale, your right toe taps, just gently tapping down. Maybe you don't want to take your toes all the way to the floor, maybe just halfway down is enough for you. So just again, listen to your body. Now, both of the knees over hips, can you reach your arms now up towards the ceiling? Palms are facing inwards, fingertips to ceiling. Just make sure your shoulder blades are still on the mat. So we're gonna add in an arm to arm movement, opposite arm to toe tap. So breathe in. As you breathe out, we're gonna float the right arm towards the floor behind you as you tap your left toe down towards the floor. And then breathing in, bring the arm back up over your shoulder as your knee comes over your hip. Right toe taps down, your left arm scissors back. And then arm up as your knee comes over here. So this is quite challenging. So you can still do this with both feet on the floor, lifting and lowering one leg at a time, and adding the arms if you want to. Otherwise, this is our dying bug exercise. So arms and legs are moving really slowly. Think about your coordination, the strength, the mobility, the breath. So try and breathe into the sides and the back of your rib cage. So when you breathe in, you're, breathing, you're taking a lateral breath so we can keep the abdominals really pulling in all the time. Can we keep going? So probably feeling the challenge by now. Let's just do two more each side, but don't rush to get to the end. So just if you've had enough, if you fatigue at any time, just hug your knees in. One more last one. So really good core strength exercises. Last time, right toe tap, left arm, arms up, knees over your hips, and then just bring your knees in towards your chest. Give them a hug so you will feel your lower back open now. Just maybe just take a little gentle rock from side to side. Now put your feet on the floor and reset. Find that same neutral position we found before we started our dive bug exercise. Can we settle? Engage your core and lift your arms up towards the ceiling again, but this time have your palms facing forwards rather than in towards each other. 
fingertips to ceiling palm space in the wall in front of you. So if you've got, we're going to do a chest pain. If you've got neck issues at all, you could always just interlace your fingers and cradle the back of your head in your hands if you need to. Otherwise, arms up, shoulders wide across your back. Breathe in. As you breathe out, we just learn to lift the heavy shoulders off the floor as we pull the arms down towards the floor, just in line with your hips reaching through the fingertips. Breathing in, we're going to bring the arms back just up towards the ceiling as your shoulders and your head release down again. And then go again, exhaling, scooping your navel in towards your spine, pull the arms down, press them down towards the floor. And breathe in, bring them back up, oh, just over your shoulders as your shoulders and your head release down. And go again, scooping in. Then the hands behind your head if you've got, if it's really challenging the back of your neck, which it shouldn't be, if you try and keep that space in between your chin and your chest, you should have a good position for the neck. But put your hands behind your head if you need to, just gently pray the back of your head in your hands. Otherwise, it's really nice to get this work through our shoulders and the resistance as we press, pull and press the arms down towards the floor. So last time like that, if you want a little bit more, whether you've got your arms up like me or if you've got your hands behind your head, you can still bring both of your legs off the floor next to tabletop position. So that same position we had for our dying bug. Breathe in as you breathe it. Don't move your legs, but just bring the arms up and over as you lift your head and shoulders off the floor. And breathing in, arms to ceiling, shoulders and your head come down. So just feel the difference, how much more work you have for your lower abdominals with your legs in tabletop position. Don't rush, we're just gonna do three more if you can. Remember to scoop in. Try not to let your belly fold outwards as you lift up and over. Five, lost count. Let's do two more, everybody. If you can, let's reach, press those arms down, reach through your fingertips. Uh, and one more last one. Nice big effort. Breathe in, use your exhale, pull the abs in. Let's come up, reach your arms forward. Take your arms up on the top of your knees, lower your shoulders, head onto the mat, and just again, just take that release, just that little gentle rock from side to side. Then put your feet on the floor. So we've done a lot of flexion into our hips this time, so we're going to open up the hips. Nice shoulder bridge now, so really good work for the back. So uh, quite often if you've got back issues, really nice exercise for freeing any little sticky bits in your spine, but be careful. So just let your arms rest on the mat down by your sides. Make sure that the back of your head is resting on the floor, not on a, a head support, a towel or anything. Uh, just making sure that the back of the neck is open. Just walking your heels in a little bit closer now towards your sit bones. Your heels are about hand distance away from your sit bones. Just make sure you're looking up towards the ceiling. You've still got that same alignment, your heels, your knees and your hip bones. So breathe in. As you breathe out, we're not going to come up far, first of all. As you breathe out, just tuck your tailbone out and just flatten your lower back into the mat, press it down. And then breathe in. As you breathe out, just peel your lower back off the mat. So we're just tipping and tilting the pelvis again, like we did for our uh, initial setup. So just that mobility, just for the lower part of your back. So you can stay with this if you want to. So quite often, many of us get lower back issues. So this is quite nice just to open up and free the lower back, but be careful. Breathe in, as you breathe out, let's go into a full bridge if you feel you can. So as you're coming up, squeeze your glutes and start to peel your spine away from that. Lifting your hips nice and high, keeping the balance across your hip bones there. Breathe in, as you breathe out, imprint your spine. So try and press one vertebra of your spine gently into the mat, so release it as you come down. Breathe in, as you breathe out, tuck the tail, flatten the lower back first, then engage the glutes, then peel away. Often helps just to push your knees forward, pressing into your feet, lifting up onto your shoulders. Breathe in, as you breathe out, coming slowly all the way down out of your bridge. Let's just do one more like that. Coming up, 
Just lifting, try not to let your rib cage pop up here. So don't hyperextend, slowly coming back down on your exhale. So if you feel you're strong and you can maintain a really strong supported bridge without your hips sinking towards the floor, let's come up and hold our bridge. So really making sure our glutes are really strong here. So is our core, press into your feet. Uh, and keep lifted. So let's go back to those arm circles again. So turn your palms in to face each other, thumbs towards the ceiling. Without moving anything else, breathe in, float your arms towards the floor behind you. Maybe just tap your thumbs onto the floor. And as you breathe, turn your palms out, press away through your hands and your arms and sweep your arms around and draw them in towards each other just until they're your arms realign with your shoulders and then go again, breathing in, arms go back and breathing out, press away. Imagine you're in a swimming pool, you're in water, so feel resistance as you surf your arms round by your sides. Breathing in, arms go back, don't let your hips start to sink. If they do, just remember, come out of your bridge. Let's do two more if you can. Squeeze your bottom, keep lifted. Keep your ribs drawing down. One more last one if you can. So really working on those postural muscles in our back now, strengthening. And arms go around, opening up the chest and the shoulders. Arms come in, palms on the floor. Arms light on the mat, breathe in. As you breathe out, slowly let your spine melt all the way back down onto the mat. And then let's just lift the feet off the floor one at a time. Bring your knees in towards your chest and give your knees a hug and take a little gentle rock from side to side, just releasing off your lower back. So from there, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. We're gonna to come onto our side, we're gonna do a side bend. So what it does mean is when we do a side bend, it's really working into our waist muscles, but it does mean you're putting a lot of load through your shoulder joint. So if you have shoulder issues, you might want to not want to do this. Um, if you have got shoulder issues at all, you can't stay propped up on your elbow. What I suggest you do is lie all the way down onto your side and extend your legs long, just making sure you can see your feet when you look down. Then look forward and put your hand on your hip or fingertips on the floor and just gently lift your legs up, keep them pinned together and lower them back down. So a double leg lift with your legs long. So that will still work into your side waist. But if you can, come up, propped up on your elbow with your knees bent. So what is really important here is your elbows directly underneath your shoulders. So it's not there and it's definitely not here. It is directly under your shoulder. And then your forearm just rests on the floor with your palms facing down. So you've got a lot of support there and you've got that stability around your shoulder joint as well. So we need to make sure the knees are bent. But this is a level one side bend. So we're keeping the knees bent. Heels are drawn round towards your sit bones. So heels, sit bones and shoulders should be in alignment with the back side of your mat here. So just put your top hand on your top hip and then push your top hip towards your feet. So we're trying to lift the inner sideways and the ribs away from the floor. So we've almost got a, like a diamond shape there underneath that inner sideways. So we need to keep lifted all the time. So put your hands on your hip and then draw your top shoulder over your bottom shoulder. So your shoulders are stacked, your hips are stacked and your knees and your feet are thin together. Now lengthen your top arm and just rest the top hand on the top of your top, uh, on the top of your top top thigh. So use your core, lift up your pelvic floor, whatever feels good for you in this sideline position. So from here, big in breath. As you breathe out, we're just going to lift the hips up off the floor, straight up towards the ceiling and take that top arm, reach through your fingertips, top arm reaches up towards the ceiling. And then breathe out, just lower your hips really lightly onto the floor. Let your hand just rest on the top of your thumb. And go again, exhaling, lift the hips straight up towards the ceiling. Take the top arm up, reach through your fingertips, lower your hips back down, 
palm off your side. You could just lift your arm up towards the ceiling and lower it back down again if you don't want to lift the hips. A little bit different this time. On your next exhale, lift the hips straight up towards the ceiling. Take your arm up towards the ceiling. If you can, take that arm up and over in the line with your ear. So really good stretch down that top side waist. Breathing in, bring your arm back up and over. Hips come down light on the floor, arm down by your side. <coughs> Excuse me, we're only going to do two more like that. Press into your forearm, press into your knees, lift your hips. Coming back down, arm down, watch your shoulder come up anytime you need to and roll that bottom shoulder. One more last time, if you can, lift up and over the top arm. Uh, bring the arm back down. And uh, then come to a seated position. Just keep your knees folded over to the side, across your legs. If you need to, just roll that bottom shoulder. Just get some movement back into that shoulder joint. And then take that arm up and over. So it's the other arm, that arm, that arm of the side joint. All that weight bearing into the side stretch there. So come up. Go on to your other side. So remember your option, like all the way down on your side and do a double leg lift or even just a top leg lift up and down if it's not for you or if this it's shoulder isn't comfortable uh, with all the weight bearing through it. If it is, I think it's good to weight bear through your shoulder, of course, if you don't have issues. So it's good for strengthening your muscles around your shoulder. It's good for strengthening your bones as well. Any weight bearing is good for bone strength. So if you can, Elbow, remember directly under your shoulder, knees bent, heels, sit bones, and your shoulders up in alignment. And just pop your top hand on your hip, and again, just push your top hip towards your feet. So really lifting your inner side waist away from the floor. Your neck should be in line with your spine, so don't let your head hang and don't look down. Keep the length through the top of your head. So then just lengthen your top arm, rest the hand on the top of your thigh. You can do the hip lifts without taking your arm up and over if you want to. It's just nice to get that really good stretch. And we can use the top arm almost like a lever to get a little bit more lift. So when you're ready, <coughs> excuse me, breathe in. As you breathe out, we're just going to lift the hips off the floor straight up towards the ceiling and take that top arm up, reaching through your fingertips. Breathing in, just allow your hips lightly on the floor, arm comes back down. So when I sit in the hips up towards the ceiling, that top hip points towards the ceiling. Don't let it roll forwards. And let's go again, exhale, lift, reach fingertips to the ceiling, lift your hips high, and then lower them very lightly back down on the floor. And then we can take that top arm up and over if you feel okay to do that. Breathe in. As you breathe out, lift the hips. And take that top arm up and over, almost in line with your ear. If you can, really good stretch there. And breathing in, sweep the arm back up and over. Just let your hand rest on your thigh, hips gently touch down. Just two more to go. Press into your forearm, press into your knees. Take that arm up and over. And bring your hips down, arms down. Don't slump when you come down, keep still, keep lifted. Oh, is it two more? One more. Is it one more? A big reach up and over. Reach, lift the hips maybe a little bit higher. And bring your hips down. Arm down by your side. Let's come up to seated again. Just keep the knees folded over to the side if that's comfortable for you. Or cross your legs. Roll your bottom shoulder that you had all that weight going into. And take that arm, bottom arm, up and over. Really good side stretch there. And bring the arm back. Down by your side. We can stay seated just for the end. Do a few stretches here. So let's take the soles of the feet together so your knees are kind of falling wide to the side away from each other. Make sure you're on your sit bones. If that's not for you, cross your legs. Otherwise, got that nice diamond shape in between your legs so we can really open the hips here. So from here, just float your arms up towards the ceiling. Take your arms wide to the side. Take your hands behind your hips. Wider than your hips, breathe in. As you breath, push, push your chest forwards and upwards and look up towards the ceiling. Just feel your shoulder blades coming in towards each other, but pull them down towards the base of the spine. Open your chest, open the front of your shoulders. And then walk your hands to the side of your hips. Lean forwards, take hold of your ankles with your hand. 
right hand wraps around your right ankle, left hand wraps around your left ankle. Then we're going to pull the heels in towards your tailbone, using your hands, heels towards your tailbone. Then rest your elbows on the inside of your knees. Push your knees a little bit wider and then tuck your chin in towards your chest, round your spine, pull your shoulders away, shoulder blades wide across your back. So nice upper back stretch there. And then from there, let's slide the legs away and lengthen your legs in front of you. Toes to ceiling, sit really nice and tall. Breathe in, reach the arms up towards the ceiling. As you breathe out, we're going to forward fold. Bring your chest, your head, your arms towards the floor. Big stretch in the back of the legs, your lower back. Bend your knees if you need to. Breathe in, as you breathe out, float your arms up towards the ceiling. Now just take a look up and stretch, reach your fingertips to the ceiling. Breathe in, can you reach a little bit higher? And as you breathe out, just look forwards, turn your palms outwards, press away through your arms and your hands as you slowly bring your arms all the way around and down by your sides. Relax your feet, shake out your legs, roll your shoulders, and well done. Thank you for joining me on this Tuesday lunchtime. So take care, look after yourselves, and hopefully see you next week. So bye. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank bye. you.